G'day guys, how are you going? The, um, the painters have started this morning. A couple of weeks ago I came out because, you know, with before he'd quoted uh, end of last year or something just to paint the ceilings upstairs and everything, all the walls, all the walls and ceilings downstairs and stuff, but now the whole thing's been changed. I'm not even going to worry about the upstairs for the moment. Um, just got to get, get in here now. Um, so he came out a couple of weeks ago, had a look around and said, yeah, yeah, no worries. But then he came this morning and his, his, um, the guy that came out was like, uh, oh, there's got to be a lot more ceiling and sanding and stuff, but brand new ceiling. So, um, so I was putting another 800 bucks on it or something and I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, like I've, I'm, I'm lucky to get trades at the moment. Um, they do a really good job anyway. So that's all I'm after. So yeah, he started, I'll just give you the quick whip around before the, uh, before it, uh, runs out of juice on the battery. So yeah, he's already uh, painted the door here. Uh, it's done a couple coats on the ceiling because you have to do a, a primer first on here. This Quee, my mate, he's doing all the uh, ceiling up there. This this wall was quite dodgy uh, the whole way around, so um, ceiling fixer really struggled, but he's done a great job. So yeah, how good does that look, guys? The walls and everything with that you know that brick wall that Brando's done. Thanks, Brando, again. Uh, yeah, so slowly turning into mine, getting rid of the uh, Harry's towel, so leave it alone, sort of thing. So it's good. Kitchen, it's looking great. Um, no painting there because that's where the cupboards are going. So he's done a great job on that. Um, here, sort of breakfast bar is going to sit there and stuff. So this is just a primer. It's not going to be a huge difference on the colour anyway. Out the back here, so the, yeah, the, the um, laundry sinks, well, things going there as well. So, and the bathroom. So it's all looking good. I've got to patch this wall, this hole up here. I forgot about, so I'll get that done. And uh, and there's another one over here somewhere, this one here. I've got to get that sorted for him. But we're cranking along now. Um, so I've called the the big park flooring guys. They said they could come on Saturday, but I canceled it because I thought he wouldn't be finished. But he reckons he might be done by Friday, but it's, you know, it's late now. Uh, it's already like five o'clock and he's still smashing it out. So he said he might be finished by Friday. So if I get this flooring down on, on the weekend, lights in but i saw pete today he said he didn't have too much to do then uh we could get it all sorted um and move in so that'd be good try and take the pressure off a bit because uh, it's cost a lot of money a lot more than i thought but it's gonna be really nice when it's finished that's the main thing eh? all right guys thanks catch you later g'day guys how are you going um the vinyl layer has started uh, yesterday, so he's into it his second day. Um, the flooring I got, I just got vinyl planks and um, I got the black butt, the colour, and it looks, uh, yeah, pretty good. And when uh, Sean, the the, um, the vinyl layer came, he he was saying, oh, look, you know, like, he's saying, I oh, should be a mat in this, in this front area here, you know, so you don't wear it out. But then when he started cutting it, he goes, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to cut. And uh, so it's pretty good, good stuff, he reckons. So yeah, I just got it from um, the Vic Park Flooring. Um, so they've got a new showroom that they've opened up. Uh, it's just on the corner of some more or less Leach Highway and Welshpool Road there. So Hatish, um, he came out and had a look at it for me. And yeah, he's a lovely guy, um, great business owner and stuff. I'm very passionate about flooring too. Um, and the guys he got, got work and Sean is, is a layer that uh, he sent out. Um, so he, he could do it really quickly for me. So that was great. But yeah, I'll get you to, I'll, I'll, I'll take it in and have a bit of a look. I'll just go in this way because he's still working in here. So yeah, we've got, uh, it's actually a, a product done by uh, Dunlop. So this is it here, the vinyl plank Dunlop. And you know, it's cut, so it's, yeah, it's pretty pretty stiff in that. So I'll show you through the window here. So you see the paintings, it's about done there. So it's the kitchen. Yeah, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Eh? Like, look at the where it hits the wall here. So it looks really good. And the back, they've, they've painted up here as well. Um, yeah, so he's leveled this off here, and um, that's all, all ready to go. So, it's looking all great. You see what I mean? So, so he's leveled up around here. So, see what I mean with the with the uh, wall and everything? It just looks fantastic, hey? Like, that's not when it's all done. And um, and he's made a, he sort of filled in that hole down the bottom there, and that's slowly drying. So that's where the door's going to go in eventually. Um, I'm still having issues with the roof leak. I spent um, Saturday up there um, trying to sort out. I did find a screw that was a, you know, that was slightly out, but it's still it's still happening. Um, so I've, I've you know, got most of it done, but it, it has been quite frustrating. One of the screws that was up was a good, I don't know, six meters, um, six meters past. So if you could, for instance, um, so it's dripping, yeah, so it's dripping about here just up here somewhere. 
that's where it was sort of dripping on that joint there. And the screw that was was up was like well over here above the roller door. So that's how far it was traveling down and then leaking out the bottom there. But I've still got a couple joints I've got to seal as well just to try and eliminate it because yeah, it's getting frustrating. Um, but I see the new design of roofing, when they have an overlap, they've got like a bit of a V or something. So it's, it gives it an air break there so that I suppose the water can't be siphoned up. That's what was, was happening, I think. So anyway, Sean reckons uh, he'll be done the end of today. So I might come back later and, and have a look at it when it's all, all finished. So um, good times, we're moving ahead now. So I just got to get the electrician back. Uh, still waiting for the windows to get done. Um, but they messaged me, said the frames have been done, but they're still waiting for uh, the glass. So I don't know how long that takes. Um, yeah, and then I suppose now I can start putting toilets and that in, get it working instead of that, uh, now I've got our camping toilet up in the back back there that we've been using um, to, yeah, for the tradies and stuff like that. So, you know, you need somewhere to go to the toilet when you're a tradie. So we just had the camping set up at the back over there. So anyway, good times, it's looking good. So look, looking forward to moving in. All right, guys, catch you later. Thanks for watching.